we travel the country and we come to some places repeatedly and they just seem to take forever to open up. This is one of those. We've filmed here so many times. Birch Services M62 and the other side of the motorway, the eastbound side, that opened up a while ago and this one has been even longer and it's very sad to say that it has opened up. It is a 12 bay supercharger. It's the V3 chargers, the 250 kilowatts. It's a bit of a letdown. I'm Dave, this is Dave Takes It On. Just to explain why it's a bit of a letdown, it's just, I, I suppose it's just tired. It's taken so long to do. These chargers have probably been in for well over a year, probably approaching two years. Uh, the site was done a long time ago. There's been a lot of problem with legal side of it, certainly over the other side, trying to get the, the way leave for the cable across the land. So power over there was sort of an issue, but that was solved a while ago. It was more getting permission to lay the cables across the land rather than getting the DNOs in to supply the cable across the land. This side of it uh, was very different. Uh, this was definitely the power side of it and the substation for this is right at the back and it's definitely here the DNO side of it. But these, these charges have been in the best part of two years from, from my knowledge of it and they just look old. Uh, they've, they've switched on literally in the last month or so um, and it looks as though it's been here forever. It's, it's nothing exciting. Uh, Tesla hasn't painted the uh, the bays like we saw up at uh, up near in the Lake District where we saw Gridserve painting the bays. And we're going to have a look at the Gridserve, but even from here I can see they have painted the bays and those have been open a little bit longer uh, than these have been open, although these have been here a lot longer than those have been there. Um, so Tesla really they haven't taken any effort. Now, in terms of the chargers, absolutely brilliant. They've got the cabinets here. They're the uh, V3 cabinets, so they provide 250 dedicated power to each of the chargers. Uh, so I can't complain the technology, can't complain about the power. Um, I did notice, and it's the first time I've ever had it, is that my car took about 30 seconds to start charging. From when I plug it in, uh, it's normally seconds. Uh, you plug it in, it goes purple, uh, shows the talking, and then just goes green, and it really is that quick. Uh, this one, for some reason, uh, took about 30 seconds. Uh, I was beginning to wonder whether there was a fault on the charger. Yeah, strange. Not come across that before. It's all working, it just normally is fully automatic and really fast. Now, I know an awful lot of you who don't have a Tesla uh, will find that absolutely amazing that you can, ch you can get it charging in about three seconds. Uh, to Tesla, that's quite normal. So when a Tesla doesn't charge on a Tesla supercharger for 30 seconds, that, that's unusual. That, I'm hoping, is being flagged up. Um, so, uh, but it's charging now, it's absolutely fine. So th there's no problem technically, it's just, for a brand new charger, uh, Manchester Birch M62 westbound, it's an old charger literally on the day it opens up and it's just a bit sad. It's also sad that this has been here the best part of two years. Now one of the ironies here is had they not started this one almost two years ago and waited um, maybe getting all the way leaves and everything before they started work, this would have gone V4. And that would have been a totally different story because not only would it have gone V4, but sometime this year, the cabinets are gonna be V4s as well. And that would give uh, these chargers 500 kilowatt capability. It's half a megawatt of power, this is amazing. Uh, but also it would be a thousand volt capable. So all of the Hyundai's, the Kia's, the Lotus Electra's, the, uh, I was gonna say Hummers, but we don't get them over here. Uh, but all of these sorts of cars, the Porsche Taycans, they can charge here at full speed. They would have 500 kilowatts at 800 odd volts, whatever their particular car is. And they would see these absolutely massive speeds that the cars are capable of. 
Uh, so it would have been a, an absolute delight had they started this one later and we'd have got a better size. That, that's dreaming a little bit. What I would say, this is a fabulous location. It's the M62, it's a very busy uh, road. You can hear in the background, I'm sure, although I suspect Jonas might filter a lot of it out. Um, traffic is just incessant. The parking here, it, it, it's, it's okay. Um, and again, it's just this, it's okay, um, nothing exciting. Uh, the parking is relatively close. It's nothing like Lancaster or uh, Exeter with the grid serves where the parking uh, is an absolute nightmare trying to get in and out of the chargers. But here it's just a little bit tight. The bays for the car park a little bit close. And when we arrived, there was someone parked, uh, a van was parked with a big trailer across them. Uh, just took a little bit of manoeuvring to get in, but um, same applies to the grid serve up there. Uh, although their charges are set back a bit, the cars are in exactly the same position, gets the same manoeuvring to get in, so uh, it's okay. Now, obviously, I'm not privy to what deal Tesla has with Moto or with this specific uh, motorway service station uh, run by Moto, but I wouldn't be happy with this. We have, it's very untidy. It's not a pleasant sight. Everywhere you look, there's rubbish. There's, it can't be healthy. It's probably going to encourage rats. Uh, there's food discarded. There's old uh, fence posts there. There's all sorts that makes this look uh, unhealthy, unpleasant. And if I was Tesla and I was paying, a license fee or a rental or whatever for this, I'm sure there must be something in that agreement which says there's a minimum standard or minimum once a week cleaning or once a month cleaning or something that actually sets standards for it. Because I can't believe this is what Tesla would like to have on one of their chargers. I'm going to do a little bit of digging on this one to see what those agreements might or might not uh, include. So for the moment, I'd say uh, it's, it's not the best of locations. It's not the best of, uh, of, of, of maintenance standards. It's not the best anything. In fact, just a good charger location. Now, um, services themselves. Um, yeah, we've got a travel lodge there. So having had a look around, uh, lovely day, by the way, getting soaked doing this, but we do this for you, the viewers. Uh, we've got six grid serve. These are the 350 kilowatts, the AVBs. Um, nice, powerful chargers. They're up there. Um, and those will um, be pretty busy in the summer. This is a major trunk route, the main road over the Pennines, east to west, uh, from Liverpool across to Hull, uh, and all points north and south from there. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty big location. Uh, six charges for grid serve doesn't seem a lot. Tesla thinks the site's worthy of um, 12 charges here. Have to say it's a dedicated Tesla one, so there are a lot more Teslas on the road than any other EV, any other single make EV in the UK. So yeah, that probably balances. Uh, but there is a travel lodge here. We're going to have a look around the services in a moment. There's a travel lodge here. Uh, and so there are going to be people staying overnight and there's very little uh, facility for the cheaper overnight charging with fast chargers. Uh, over there on the other side, we've got some rapid chargers from GridServe, but they're the same price as those. Uh, GridServe 79p uh, for the ultra rapids. Uh, there's three dual bay rapid chargers over there, also 79p. And there's two fast chargers. Uh, these will be the 11 or 22 kilowatt chargers, ideal for overnight, and they're down to 49p, uh, but two chargers for, I'm guessing, probably the best part of a 100-room hotel. Uh, so really, you're not spoiled for choice with uh, rapid and ultra-rapid chargers, uh, but there's not the cheaper rate you can leave your car plugged in overnight. 
Talking about pricing, I've uh, just been checking up. Tesla pricing is very volatile. People have been complaining it has been going up. It's also been coming down. I'm going to cover its pricing in a moment. Uh, but don't forget also it's our pricing review video coming out uh, very shortly. And uh, that's going to cover all the pricing. There's been some major moves. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now so you don't miss that one. Uh, grid serve, obviously, lovely simple pricing, 79p wherever you go. Uh, ultra rapid, rapid, all 79p. Tesla at the moment have peak, they have off peak. This is a location where peak is between four o'clock and eight o'clock, that's it. Uh, at peak time is 48p. Off peak, we are off peak at the moment. We don't charge anything else, it's off peak at the moment and it's 39p. And that's a really interesting one for my mental arithmetic because this, with me charging at the moment, is less than half price for someone charging on GridServe at the moment. Half. 39p, 79p. That's excellent. Now, these are not available to anyone else. These are Tesla only. So if you want to try and beat that price, you've got to go a little bit further. Now, just over, it's about 10, 11 miles down the road, you've got the Trafford Center. And that one has the most amazing pricing I've ever seen in the whole of the UK. If you're a Tesla driver, the off-peak, off-peak rate, they have a super, super off-peak rate, uh, from 10 o'clock in the evening right through till, I think it's about four in the morning. Today, 22 pence per kilowatt hour. That's cheaper than plugging in yourself at home at the standard variable tariff, 22 pence between 20, 10 in the evening, four in the, in the morning. Uh, peak time for the uh, Trafford Centre for a Tesla driver, 48p, exactly the same as here. So these are not, not expensive, uh, but if it was 10 o'clock and you're heading home and you just need a top up, um, it would be worthwhile just nipping down to the traffic centre. Um, if you're a non-Tesla, so instead of six, uh, 79p here, at, at peak time between, uh, I think it's 10 and 8 for the traffic centre, peak time there is 68p, not really worth the drive down, but that will come down to about 29p off peak. So again, if you don't mind get, uh, staying up a little bit late, uh, 29p off peak for non-members. You don't need to be a member. It's arrive and drive. Just literally drive down there, use your card, swipe, charge. Uh, the lowest rate you'll get down there as a non-member, 29p. That's 50p a kilowatt cheaper than there. And 50p a kilowatt with an average battery size of 50 kilowatt hours, it's 25 pounds cheaper to top up your battery at the Trafford Centre, open to all, as it is here, or any grid serve for that matter of fact. So that's the overall impression here. Very welcome indeed. It's been a long time coming. Glad it's finally open. I'm charging here, quite happy with it. All working perfectly. The rate is perfectly fine. Um, it's... It's okay, it's just a Tesla charger. Works well, thank you very much, Tesla. Uh, I wanna see some of the new V4s coming out, 500 kilowatts on these purpose-designed sites, brand new sites with the V4 uh, cabinets, uh, and let's see some really attractive locations as well. So for the moment, that's it. I'm Dave on a rainy day, uh, heading up into the Pennines on the M62, and we are heading back westbound. So thanks very much for watching. I'm Dave.